Activists have called for the release of children detained during anti-regime protests across the Persian Gulf Sheikhdom. The rights activists say scores of Bahraini children still remain in notorious Al Khalifa prisons. They've also called for an immediate end to the torture and abuses of minor prisoners. Britain's Foreign Office says the government might consider a direct military air offensive. on Somalia. This to provide, quote, assistance to Kenyan, Ethiopian and African Union forces already operating there. British Prime Minister David Cameron has said the Somali situation directly threatens British interests. Islamabad has dismissed the findings of a U.S. probe into an American airstrike that killed 24 Pakistani soldiers in late November. Pakistan's army said the investigation falls short of facts. It also says its troops had done nothing wrong and claimed the attack was a deliberate act of aggression. U.S. police have pepper sprayed and arrested several Occupy Albany protesters after they tried to return to their campsite. Police had earlier dismantled their camp on Thursday. The protesters tried to keep their last tent by lifting it and marching on the city hall when police again stepped in. In Syria, two car bombs have hit two security service bases in the capital, Damascus. Ambulances are on the scene. The government says the truck bears the hallmarks, uh, the attack rather, bears the hallmarks of an Al-Qaeda terrorist group. This while Arab League observers are in Damascus to oversee a plan to end the unrest. A series of strong quakes have struck the southern city of Christchurch in New Zealand. The 5.8 magnitude quake was followed by an aftershock that jolted many buildings. Despite the massive quake, the city spared major damage. At least one person has been injured. The government of Philippines says over 1,000 people are still missing in the aftermath of the devastating storm that hit the southern island of Mindanao last weekend. Tropical storm Awashi that triggered landslides and flash floods has so far claimed at least 1,080 lives. And Tulane police have clashed with student protesters in the capital Santiago once again. Police used tear gas and water cannons against the students who fought back by hurling rocks. Several demonstrators, including one dressed as Santa Claus, were arrested. Students want a major overhaul of the country's education system.